<laughs> Fing in the hotel. Yeah, it it, uh, it worked for one game. Okay. <laughs> I spammed the chat wheel you very did? well. I drew lines well, they've, they've moved on the map. On, dude. And... They've moved on from the chat wheel. They've they now understood? got him in comms, and oh, he's yeah, now yeah, learned yeah, 10 yeah, words. Like... Oh, so, nice. Yeah, no, he's not... It's around 10 or 12 or something, and it's just things Order. like help seconds. and yeah. <laughs> help now Push here. Back. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I'm trying to think of all the words. But it's like, working. What are the most it's, it's working. Words. It's working. Uh, we are into the draft, and uh, we do get a Puppy LFY's Chin ban number one from LFY. They're not messing around with anything that he wants to play. I'll tell you, Paul, though. My drawing and chat wheel and that whole thing. Is it top notch? It didn't work for the second oh, game. Oh. So you're basically Herald chat wheel. Unfortunately, no amount of chat wheel and scribbling on the map will apparently make your teams step out of the fountain after they've given up <laughs> on the game. So <laughs> nice, you know, solid. What can you do? See, I chat wheel arrows. To the lanes? Yes, uh, I literally yeah, did. I've I done drew, that as well. I, I pinged on <laughs> yeah, the fountain, yeah, right. and I drew an arrow <laughs> yeah. from the fountain Ten into the mid lane. Did you? Where they were hitting our tier three, a tier three that hadn't dropped yet, and none of the other seconds. tier threes okay. had dropped yet. But so did, we haven't lost Rex. Sure. Right? But, but, but did you add in the extra special part of the arrow? Uh, what's that? So, so you circle the fountain where they are. You uh -huh. draw the arrow Ooh. out to the lane you want them to go, and then yeah. you type question mark in the chat. Oh no, I drew a question mark. <laughs> you drew the question. <laughs> That's the even better. That's I it. drew oh, a question mark. Mark. That's <laughs> next level. And then dude. I actually thought to myself, Jesus. do they know what a question mark is? I, I'm yeah. Actually, yeah well, mark's it's not kind in, of international, it's not, though, isn't it? I think so. I think I'm, it's pretty I'm sure they do, right? Yeah. But it has its own symbol, but, it's but not, I think it's, it's, it's not in Chinese language, no. right? Written language. No, but I think it still works. The offensive question mark is, is good. Yeah, I'm sure they're aware enough. Yeah. That's, true. that's so next level. Yeah. And just a big old question mark across the that's, whole that's mini map. Level. <laughs> yeah. I was. Not uh, happy with them. <laughs> Three bands each. By the way, I don't think that's regional at all. I think that's international. What? AFK and Fountain? Yeah. Also, spam clicking the map. I think that's international as well. Yeah, People get sure. that one. All right, our first pick. Tiny! He's there. The Branch Boy is back. Yeah. Take out Omni, take out Sand King, Chen, Bounty. Razor's a monster. Yeah, that, I think the most important thing is that they took out the, the Razor. Yeah. Um, so Ten naturally, if you don't remain. have first pick, I think you're always going to be banning the Omni Knight and the Ogre. Five um, and then LFI banning the, the Razor opens up the tiny pick a lot more. Yeah, we're getting to that point, aren't we, with the six bands that you almost... If you, if you want to play one, but then it gets banned, there is an automatic answer to it. Mm-hmm. So I feel like here it's like Rubik or Witch Doctor. I kind of like Witch Doctor a little bit more. I think that we've seen that Maledic can really be one of the answers for Tiny. Uh, gain a little bit of burst damage there quickly. And I, the only other thing that you might think about would be like trying to... I, I think that they can just take it here, though, if they want to. I don't understand any reason why they wouldn't want to. You know what's funny? Oh. Is the... Oh, okay. So this is, this is kind of interesting because Tide... Is quite good versus the Tiny because Anchor Smash kills a lot of his damage. He's also a tanky enough hero that Tiny can't burst him down. I think that's super important. Like, just get tanky cores, right? This is like why Razor was really good because he can take away damage, be super tanky, Five can't be, be focused on. Just be careful because you're straying into Jack territory. Jack <laughs> beat. Don't worry, Paul. Syndrome here. Uh, and I do want to point out the. I, I'm pretty sure it was the same for last series. Night Stalker is being ignored all of a sudden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and actually up to today, it was the most contested hero of the entire tournament. 91% either ban or pick. Yeah. And today, not a single game ban or pick. Well, we've seen a couple of games where people have been like pushing down towers really quickly, and it's sort of one of those syndromes that you get with a Night Stalker where you can see them sieging your high ground, but you can't really do anything about it sometimes. It also only had a 40% win rate, by the way. Remaining. Okay, well. I mean, this. Which is not game. that many. Yeah, yeah it's, I was going to say it's not many, many games, but whatever. Wyvern as well. Um, has been more ignored. Um, and, and those are the things that I like kind of pointing to, just because it's interesting that you can see the meta develop in a tournament in just days' time, yeah. right? Like, you could literally see what's happening. And Especially like over a long time. People like realize, this. like, yeah. oh, these, yeah. yeah it's it's eight days in all. And, and, like, heroes that are, fill the same role, but they do wildly different things as well. Mm -hmm. um, but Ancient Apparition... Yeah, this is um, this is a nice answer to the Tide Hunter because now Tide is a hero that you can pop. Um, I think there are like not too many supports that counter the Tide Hunter. Another one would be Disruptor, but honestly, I, I don't really like Disruptor in the current patch. Um, it Five just feels like remaining. you're 
get, getting yourself a hero that you have to always be the aggressor and you have to always be an initiating, but both teams are picking like very early mid game focused team fighting. So it's very unlikely that disruptor is always getting set up for. So um, ancient apparition, I think is a, a lot better answer and does allow the tiny, he now can burst the tide hunter because of the ice blast and the percentage base. Turn to ban. I mean, Cap, you've seen like a lot of teams that put a lot of emphasis on laning stage. And I feel like that's sometimes what people say, like ancient apparition can be a liability there. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's not really as much of an issue for them, or like? I think it's less so because of the uh, chilling touch. Um, I think I think ancient apparition is better than he ever used to be remaining. because now he's got four techs down, so he's less of a liability Five to himself. AKA he's oh, right, not yeah. like super slow, so he has a pseudo escape mechanism. Um, <laughs> Just... You've got chilling touch, which is better when it comes to damage because now it only it doesn't apply that attack speed slow that it used to because sometimes it was more of a detriment than it right. was an attribute to your guard, and you so. slow them as you're you're hitting them with it as well now yeah so it's I, I think it's like all around relatively good um and i also think it's very likely um team secret are going to have this tide hunter um, off on his own ancient apparition at least he does pretty good damage um to help remaining. zone the tide though rarely do you ever get to zone a tide is too big. Big Hulk and mess. Very thick skin. I, uh, I, I feel like Tidehunter has just been on so many winning teams recently. Like, that thing, so many times we've seen him just like head mid after he gets like level seven or something and just hold on to that mid tower for mm -hmm. pretty much ever and they can't really do anything about it. If I'm LFY, uh, I'm going to consider banning Gyrocopter. Maybe they're okay with it because they have Ten Tiny, and I think Tiny's pretty favorable um, versus Gyro. But it Five is the kind of hero that I think would work out very well for Secret with this um, team fighting setup that they have with the, um, the Tidehunter and then the, the really good damage setup from the Maledic. So if you just have a really good magic damage carry, um, and, and then on top of that, you want to be able to give CTY a big time later game carry in that in that mid or safe lane so um i don't know maybe they'll consider it for the fourth pickup chaos knight versus yeah chaos knight versus tiny them 10 seconds i feel remaining. like it's still sort of do says a, a pretty decent pickup for either team Five now seconds remaining um i think that like secret if you do that you might run into some damage issues but that can sort of be solved a little bit like by maledict and getting into these heroes that don't allow LFY to push into them. Almost like a race to do so with Super on the other team, too. I would like Viper. I know Viper has not been in vote. <laughs> hey, I think he lost every game. <laughs> All right, well, hey, really, it really isn't in vote, guys, but uh, you know, I have faith. It's still a strong hero. Listen, one of those games was Viper versus Broodmother, <laughs> okay? Terrible. That's not on Viper. <laughs> Um, LFY's turn to oh, yeah. Hmm. That's fine. It's a. It's a. Again, because he doesn't go BKB, there are uh, a lot of supports that can be okay versus the tiny, and that's just a, like another hero that you maybe don't want to go on if you're um, if you're a tiny. Well, we mentioned it. Had yeah. been banned. Had been picked all day. Still the most picked or banned and the most contested and it's been picked by nfy so i wouldn't mind seeing secret try and go like push with this now you've got some Five pick off if they push remaining. out lanes off to the side with a nyx assassin you've got tide hunter who can sort of lock down objectives for you if secret want to they could even go back later for like points into some heal from witch doctor early which we haven't seen almost at all this tournament it's been mainly points towards maledict but now with the venomancer as well like you know that this is the weakness of night stalker is pushing early, taking control of the jungle away from him. I, I kind of like that idea Ten from Secret. I think they've got the tiny trap now, right? Because he can't go mid against Five the Venomancer, and remaining. he doesn't want to have Tidehunter in his... So LFI is going to be forced into some sort of laning situation that is not great for the tiny. And to be honest, it's all Secret. It's the only information they have to operate on. Um, the only the other bit of information besides the tiny is the fact that between Ancient Apparition and Night Stalker, you're looking at a pretty good pickoff game. Um, a lot of lane shove and maybe some split pushing would not be a bad idea for, for LFY if they want to maximize the usage 
of the tiny ancient apparition combo kill and the Night Stalker's natural ability to do so. He did it again. Absolute madman. Does like he's DK. I think it's it's pretty good this game. Uh, again, he'll be able to try and push down that. Ten well, it's sort of tough against Venno again. Um, it's okay because you've got Dragon Blood, remaining. so you can offset the damage done um, by like the wards by the poison. Bad. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but surprisingly, Dragonite does not lose a lot of these mid matchups that he used to. Right? I saw like him versus a Viper like super early in 7.0. And I was just like, oh, he's going to get stomped. And then he just didn't. Yeah. Because uh, he would just breathe fire and push remaining. out the wave into the Viper. And Viper wouldn't really do any damage back between the armor Five and the damage reduction. Remaining. So um, it, it is a lane, though, that is going to be dangerous from a ganking aspect. Because Venomancer can set up his own kills with the Gale into Nyx and Witch Doctor running it. <laughs> yeah, that scares me later on. Yeah. But yeah, probably during the landing stage will be fine. Um, just make sure that actually ban out the OD. I guess, yeah, safe lane Venno could also work here as well for Secret if they want to do that and take something that more heavily punishes DK mid. But I still Ten like the idea of Secret remaining. going for some type of a, a push strat here. Maybe take like a Five TB or remaining. something. Uh, maybe not against Tiny. Really sure. Yeah, actually. Meanwhile, you're looking for an offlaner for LFY and ideally another initiator because you don't want Tiny to be your only one. You don't want to run Batrider necessarily against Tide, but most offlaners uh, initiating type heroes aren't going to be super happy with Tide unless you're running like a Void offlane or something. Um, so you kind of have to focus on the Venomancer and trying to catch Ugh, What is that? They did it. They used to do this again. Um, what was the game that they won? It was against Vega. They ran Elder Titan. It's another 100% hero, by the way. Is that is that good, though, versus... Tony played, I think, three or four. I don't... Yeah, maybe less, actually. Um, it was against a tri-lane, and they ran in there and got a ton of damage on him and just, like, ran at the carry. Five yeah, I just... Remaining. Kept doing it over and over. But you're yeah, not going to have played, that lane. Played 4 1 4, by the way. Played 4 1 4. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think you're going to be able to find that laning phase win because they could do like Venno safe lane. Uh, and then just pick like a kind of hard to mess with mid hero. Does well against the, the Dragon Knight. I'm, I'm not sure if it's like. It's kind of awkward that they just don't have like the cleanest jump and in initiation for their team fight besides the. Ooh. The tiny, and even now, even more awkward. Like Elder Tiny always looks better in a defensive aspect, in responding to what the enemy team is clearly trying to take an objective. But with the Dusa on the team, it's now the other way around, where you're gonna have to be pushing into the Dusa team. That no Dusa. Well, snakes. Well, um, I, I I hear what you're saying there. I'm wondering if maybe like all of the magic. Reduction, the the magic resistance reduction could be something that they're going for there. So I'm gonna like very tentatively say LFY and regret it in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Panel curse is real. Cap mana shield is mega effective against these sort of situations, right? Because you you're actually just ignoring the idea of minus armor and minus magic armor, and you just have mana. That's the only thing you need. So I'm gonna go for a secret. Um, pretty heavily here. I like them. I like the okay. draft. All right. Bit of indecision here on the panel. A split vote as far as the two teams are concerned. Who's going to come out top? Who knows as we head into game one. And we know something that comes out top every time. And that's Toby one and Malini. Alan Top. So flattered. Are, are we winners? Were you that kid that had the top bunk, not the bottom bunk? I didn't have bunk beds. I slept in the room with my parents. Come on. <laughs> I had... Okay. Humble, be humble beginnings, Toby. <laughs> humble. Okay. I, I want to tell you my beginnings on my wonderful 800-acre property. Uh, let's get into the game and focus on Dota. Team Secret versus LFY. Oh, looking forward to this game. It's a, it's a wonderfully well-rounded draft. The panel, whenever they're split, I'm actually a happy chappy, mainly because it means this game could be very, very close. Do you lean one way or the other, Ben, or are you a straight-down-the-middle shooter? Generally prefer Medusa drafts. I think Medusa is incredibly strong in this patch. Cap was mentioning too, Mana Shield is very effective in this game. Like, how does LFY actually break through that if the Deuce does get farmed? 
Or is that the issue? Maybe you can just keep tossing the Dusa away. Get three toss <laughs> okay. charges. Oh, wait, she, yeah, three toss charges. Toss requires no target, and every time she comes in a fight, just throw her away. Yep. That does sound a lot like uh, like the old mythology of Medusa. How do we actually be defeat her? Well, we had to turn her against herself. In this case, we just don't deal with it. We hide, and eventually we'll snipe off one of her snakes and kill herself. That's they, it. They actually have really good disables for her. Cold Feet is surprisingly good versus Medusa, because you're not moving around in the fight. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can get Lincolns and Mayanta, but usually you go for one or the other. And it's very easy to proc the Lincolns in this game. And then they have DK, very long duration stun. You have Crippling Fear, which is also very difficult to deal with. The Stomp from the Elder Titan. So mm -hmm. I don't actually think it's like a super easy Medusa game just because you want to just stand there and shoot people with your split shot. You don't want to be running around dodging all these oh, spells. Right now, CTY, he's run down south, moving away from the support that was there. Puppy, he can lend the cask, and CTY needs some space. The casket bounces forward, locking out Afu with a tree top from Monet. It won't be enough, but will it? Yes, Afu! That is the greediest another void play. In. CTY starting off early with a strange build with the mana snake level one when you see four people running at you. Okay, okay, <laughs> just, okay. Just things. Fada currently cutting the creep wave and keeping the attention of DDC up here. These lanes, Fada is already TPing out, so it's it's Veno on the bottom lane with the Witch Doctor against the off lane ET. Mid lane is meant to be Medusa versus the Dragon Knight. And it's an off lane Tide Hunter. So Fada just kind of pulled the creep wave up, which is going to give. Pretty much a double creep wave pushing into his tower up on the top lane. He's up against Monet, who's taking up the role as Tiny, DDC, Ancient Apparition, Alfu on the Night Stalker, and that leaves Yappy, who will be running around, nibbling at the heels like a small little terrier as the Nyx Assassin, so a spiked head terrier. Well, they have an Ozer reward watching him go into the top lane, and, you know, they're... They... Shutting down Fada has uh, been most teams' early game plan, mm -hmm. and it seems like this game is going to be a lot more difficult with the TPI that we saw that did double wave him, so he should skate by to a you know, pretty easy level 2, level 3, which, you know, in which case he's much more difficult to kill. You know, I was actually going to say, like, it's it's a really good thing, like, in one way that Medusa gets the Mystic Snake, because you keep Super's mana down very low, so he can't farm with Breathe Fire. Well, yeah, you can just get it too, though. I think yeah. Anytime you're in some sort of, like, defensive situation, you should skip Mystic Snake, just because, you know, you just want to limit your deaths on Dusa. You're yeah. perfectly fine going in a late game as long as you have items and... Minimizing your death, keeping your net worth high is I was, I was being a positive kind of guy because at least, at least saying he should be on top of his CS. Yo, it's just CTY, man. And CTY even, things. <laughs> he's actually even with the CS on Super with two creep waves pushing into the tower for Super. So he's actually behind by about five creeps at the moment. Yep, so playing around with DDC in the jungle. Doesn't want to commit too much, but it secures both of the bounty runes for him while uh, Afu aggressively moves over and takes the bounty rune from Puppy. CTY is probably one of the most fun cores to cast. He is just completely wild and unpredictable. I say that about some players, but he is just way more so, especially in the Chinese scene, because the Chinese, you know, they're not as off the wall uh, as some of the Western players, but he is, he takes the cake. Mr. Un unpredictable. Well, yep. Yep, sorry again. It's harassing DDC out. DDC's having a very hard time finding these levels with no bounty runes, unable to get secured pulls out. Yep, so it's always causing problems as uh, Daya Kuri gets sniped. Puppy just casually walking in between the towers in the mid. Finds the pickup on the courier. Nice, nice. Luckily, DK doesn't need that much chicken access. D uh, Medusa doesn't win. It doesn't lose her lane, but she also has a very hard time actually killing heroes. Mm -hmm. And Dragonite already has a Sol Ring, so he's good. Yeah, Sol Ring and 2.7 and Dragon Blood, so the regeneration, it, like even when you mentioned a Tango, 20.5, yeah, you're happy with that. Easy Breathe Fire spam. Easy. Is there actually anyone that runs Bottle, like any heroes that still run Bottle in the mid now with the new changes? Sure, why not? Storm. Storm, Storm. always gets a Bottle. Yeah. But that also makes sense considering his mana issues. Ace is having a fun time on bottom, at least I would say he's having a fun time. 12-3 versus 8-6. Hasn't really been able to pressure back in flame. Yeah, that's because the Absor has been constantly sitting on this top lane trying to contest those bounties. That's just kind of what he's doing. So just... he's had no help, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Yep. 
Or, I mean, there there is Puppy down there, but he was a little bit occupied with the chicken shenanigans. Yeah, he, so, was, he was playing around with, with Afu. Like, Night Stalker was always contesting his bounty runes as well. Yep. So That's so, why Puppy's walking around with, like, two and a third level. Soul Ring's very, very nice versus Mystic Snake. You just dump your mana after you Soul Ring. That's it. You'll, and if someone ganks, you don't have to, like, pop your stick. You just pop your Soul Ring, and you're good. You always have mana to cast spells, which is great. Makes the lane very sustainable for Super. Still waiting for something to erupt for the moment. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Ace is very defensive. He's gone for a 1-2, holding the extra point. Just in case there's going to be a fight for him, he can go the second point up in the Venomous Gale. But no Plague Wars, just to try and push the lane out. Not yet. Until he can get to level 5. Now, Gale fires forward. He actually put that second point into it with the Malady. So that was be a decent amount of ticket to Inflame. He's looking for the Stomp. Slowed down a hell of a lot, and his spirit is reflecting that. Here comes the Stomp. Ace on the edge of it. So both Spirit and Stomp being wasted. Now the Titan falling down to still 300 HP, but 300 HP. And they bring the rotation of DDC in. So in the team fights, I'm, I think I'm favoring LFY until Medusa gets really, really big. I just think they have so many ways to deal with Medusa until she just does too much damage to ignore, but that's still going to be a while. Is like, that also with the effect of Ravage being calculated? Yeah, it, well... The Ravage isn't actually going to help Dusa do that much more damage, though. It's not like she can burst people down during Ravage. It's not like a mm -hmm. Tiny or a CK that can instantly kill people. It's a you know slow and steady fight generally when you're on Medusa. But the more and more I look at LFY's lineup, the more and more I like like the Elder Titans actually deal with this uh, Medusa. Oh, a little bit of trouble right now for DDC. The Gale will connect with the Maledict. He's guaranteed dead now. No way to escape back out here. Tick. Even if the Maledict didn't do it, the Gale and Poison Sting would have. So a small little freebie. That's a little bit too far away while E.T. was backing up. This nighttime's been a little bit quiet for them, but Night Sucker does already have phase boost and will make his first move. Yeah, he's going up towards Fada on top lane. Fada needs a little bit of distance. He's got eight one charges up his sleeve and he holds them. And ends up dying in front of his tier one tower. Super's making his rotation over as well. So with the creep wave pushing in and the catapult wave, LFY is going to focus our attention to the tier one tower top. Ah, good old Super. On oh, Dragonite yet again. <laughs> he is such a good Dragonite, though. Yeah. You, you definitely know why they pick it for him. Yep. I think there was some criticism yesterday for his Medusa build, super defensive. And I think, you know, that's just his tendency as a player. Like, he likes defensive heroes and going defensive abilities and defensive items. I think uh, I saw him play OD once. I mean, he went for a mech, I believe, which is very unusual. But for Super, it makes sense. Just likes to help his team out. And we have the king of the person who used to do that in mid sitting on top lane for secret Fada. Mr. I can build mech on any mid hero. With this push from LFY, they've already taken the top tier one tower. Super's going to rotate back to mid. Got a little bit of time left with the dragon form, but with the creep wave pushing up, you won't be able to connect in. Should, could she, should, should Secret be more concerned about this, or is it okay considering the push power that will come from Ace eventually? You mentioned it before, the push power is not great from just the Venno alone. I think yeah. it's mostly so, mostly you want to control your Ancients so that Medusa and Venno can both farm them. So as long as you have access to those, then you're completely okay. Actually, three of their heroes can take it. Titan is also a very good Ancient farmer too. So LFY looking to take down the T1s, so them to the Ancients. I think that's going to be the main point of, you know, what you're trying to focus on if you're secret and what you're trying to shut down if you're LFY. Oh, we'll watch the ward game. As we do hit that, like, almost eight-minute mark, we'll start to see some of the aggressive wards being planted out. Mainly watching for Afu's movement as nighttime will come to an end in 10 seconds. DDC is already searching for, for Team Secret's wards. No, that's an eighth of your net worth, DDC. <laughs> the sentry on the ground that didn't reach the one observer ward that's sitting on the hill on LFY's side of the river. Yeah, that hurts. How they actually get that down without it being detected? Oh, problems. In flame, trying to run out of here. That's a level two maledict. It's not going to be enough damage, and Puppy's already starting his TP out, not giving any kind of chance for rebuttal. Goes all the way home as well, but Super and DDC, they're coming for that rebuttal. Smoke up. Moving down, they can find Ace. He's gone over for that eight-minute bounty rune. As far as Dive Vision goes, they do see around him, but... Okay, now they see him. Into the trees, cold feet, dragon tail stun. That almost looks like it's too easy, especially when you get an ET split of him. Maybe a little bit of overkill, but... Guaranteed to get the job done before he has to walk his way back home. 
Yeah, at, th at this point in the game, you're, you know, you just want to take fights quickly. You don't want Tidehunter to come in. They want to use their Ravage. Although, as I say that, Fada is farming up top. Yeah. While he can TP into the double smoke gang. Gamsor and Puppy gonna wrap around the back of Super. They can't allow Super to keep doing this. Burn Dragon Form, get a kill, and then push a tower. It's what they did previously. So CTY is here. Here comes the rotation in. Nugget the initial stun. And with the extra helmet taking the wall for Ace to complete his TP. But the paralyzing cast should create a little bit of space. But the ET, even more space. Three caught napping. You look tired. Man, it, I really like Inflamed ET too. He is. One of the few players is plays it in general, but he's a very offensive player. He doesn't just sit back and, you know, wait for those Yule stomps. He, he smacks people. Mm -hmm. I kind of hope that we see him get level 15 with the plus 30 Astral Spirit Hero attack and cl clamp people down. But that's still going to be a bit. And 70 attack speed. Considering level. the speed of this game, he should have enough time to reach 15. Yep. This now, isn't going to be a quick pop and done game. I wonder what he gets 25. 100% lifesteal or minus 75 second Earth Blur. I, I mean, I haven't seen ET at all, but... It would be sick to have 25 second Earth Splitter if you get Aug 3. Oh, man. 100% lifesteal would be a hell of a lot when, you, when you've got a big buff up. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get damage off. They have a lot of mitigation. Mana mm. shield, care pace. So just ulti, then ulti, then ulti, then ulti. I would say so. It actually, you know, you might you might need that sort of sustained damage to deal with the Tidehunter, but I don't know if we'll get to that point, but it is something to consider later on in the game. It'll make LFY's high ground Ooh. defense even more impossible to breach for Team Secret. Like, Team Secret still rely on hitting these big ultimates. Like, you need that Ravage to connect, then the follow-up Nova. Uh, and, and it looks like Ace understands this too. Like he's building Hand of Midas on this safe flame Venomancer. Like you'll push down towers There's eventually, but for now, like he just needs to gain the levels, gain gain the money later on. There's a Midas also coming from Dusa, so they're very confident in their ability to, that this game is going to go late. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that Mardang, assessment. Mid lane, he's going to be right on top of CT Wine, throwing him on top of PDC up the T1 tower. Cold feet, it won't matter. Even with three points up in the mana shield, 15 one charges, he doesn't burn the one charges. Joke's on you, Afu. Why'd you even bother silencing him? He doesn't even have stone gaze. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. 2-4-3, Velden said for the Medusa. He's yep. just shy of 10. And that ancient stack, Monet. Well, he'll find it and he'll farm it. Who needs stone gaze, man? And then they block it with a sentry ward and the observed ward a little bit further down. Maybe not the greatest place to put the sentry. Is that the reason why they leave? Two of the two of the units behind. Could have also been because Monet didn't have a tree. I think they just wanted to bounce. Either that or they use it as, as bait for next time. Well, that's he's, bad got, he's got a shadow blade now. You may you can just walk yourself in and find the pickoff. They already lost one. They already uh, they already lost one ancient camp. That's actually really bad for Secret. They're I mean, I guess they have the tools to farm for it with double Midas, but this is mm -hmm. not a play we see commonly from Ace at all. I think he's actually one of the carries that builds Midas the least. Yeah, it, it has to be a mindset, though, from Team Secret. You don't come in and, bu and build two hands of Midas if you don't believe. One, you can hold high ground, and, well, two, once you hold high ground, there's actually a way you can push back. I think that LFY is one of the better teams to deal with it, though. They're a very swift team. They're actually not... Uh, tepid about going high ground very very early on and I think they have the lineup to do so although pushing into Medusa and Tide is very risky but if their ultimates are down or if you force them to use it out of road then things are going to be a lot different I think it's much easier to push high ground with the cheese being on the second road and the refresher on the third yep, so he's underneath the sentry wall at the moment vortex was dropped dust gonna be triggered next assassin slowed down but the rest of LFY are a little bit too far away to continue the engagement they needed a pullback of some type LFY really want to control that second ancient stack, but the secret double observer wards <laughs> just to make sure that nothing happens around there. Another one to a little bit to the southwest. Yeah, they um they are definitely keeping tabs in LFY. This also will allow them to keep the T1 tower in mid a little bit safe and CTY safer. Difficult to rotate mid without being seen by Team Secret unless you smoke. Now they move forward. That observer ward pinged out instantly by Team Secret. But Monet's moving forward. They know the Ancient Sack is there, and Team Secret, if you don't contest this, Monet will take everything. Father saying, enemy incoming, he's on his way. 
He's on the bottom lane at the moment, but he doesn't have a tree in his hand. This is a fight that's really difficult to take if, if Ravage is there. But Fata's actually just farming the bottom. Okay, yeah, now he's up. starting to make his way yeah. up. He was waiting for the right time. Good observe ward from LFY is further to the south, however. So both teams with great warding around the Ancients. So no one's having a fight, which is... At least, at least they'll be able to take it out. Oh, they don't even get... This. Oh, no! Okay, they'll, now they'll get that one, but they don't get the other one. Oh, that one's about to expire anyways. Okay, that's fine then. I think you're okay with Afu, or with Afu and the rest of LFY. Afu? Just... He's come back in again. Yapsaw gonna connect over on the stun. They need a little bit of extra slow, and they've actually got it with negative armor. That was completely unnecessary for him. I mean, they just dewarded it, and there's a big stack. I think you just... You get more information by your DK pushing mid and see how they react, but is it distraction gain? They were attacking. Okay, no, instantly DK backed off the mid tower after the fight happened. And I think it's a distraction game if you can make it out alive, but he burned his Hunter in the Night trying to walk up the hill, so he's not going to have it walking down. But I, I think it's extremely greedy to, con to assume that you can control all four Ancients. I think three is reasonable. Four is just like you, you better be like way far ahead and have that mid T1 down. They're just trying to make it difficult. That's that's all this really is. Oh boy, Yapsol. Oh Yapsol. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot of damage to come your way. The ancient prowler kind of rick, ripped him a new one. Even CT Y doesn't want to take any more damage than that. He's got a creep wave in mid lane to farm up. Midas is kicking in. Yep. So we watch that gold advantage. So far, LFY has been holding a decent advantage on the gold graph, but it's starting to kick back up once more. Yep. The experience graph, there's not much of like of an advantage around that. The problem is that Secret are actually getting away with a Tide Hunter farming too. The two Midas Hero oh, farming is. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, no, combination's gonna hit enough. With the stomp as well. It's amazing how many heroes we've seen die with 15 to 17 charges on their magic wands. Maybe a little bit of revenge into Afu with Fighter and Yapsaw. They're going to commit the Ravage. It guarantees the kill. They will not, however, have any kind of follow-up to Inflame. This is just position four, though. Position four for Ravage? That is, like, you're happy with, like, contesting contesting runes at this point. Or contesting contesting runes, contesting Ancients. Maybe even, like, thinking about Roche. If they have a medallion, they probably don't right now. Maybe just thinking the speed of this game. Like, burn Ravage now, at least find the kill. You can get something a little bit later on. I don't know, though. It's I, not like LFY is coming in for a big team fight yet. But they, they can. Still, they can, definitely. But they haven't even felt the effect of, like, Venomancer as well as Medusa working together. What happens if Team Secret do come into that 5-on-5 five -five fight and you don't hit the Ice Blast? Oh, super. Blink Dagger is up, jumping forward, looking to cause a couple of problems for CTY. More supports coming in for LFY. Afu pushing fast, in comes the Ice Blast. He's in the trees and CTY once before the Ice Blast will be able to connect. And they just toss the Dragon in. Perfect in flight. Big wings as Afu backing up from that pot. I see the Urn is ticking him down. He can't survive. The Urn just got in time from Yapsaw. But the cost is high. With two heroes down, LFY pushing in hard, they're underneath the tier 2 tower. This is the thing I was talking about with the Ravage. Yeah, you got a kill, but that is just the green light for LFY to just, just roll all over their jungle. And keep in mind that they still don't have Stone Gaze, so yeah. CTY, baby. Had you. No Stone Gaze build. Had you. <laughs> You can get triggered later, <laughs> but now... Oh, I'm not get... the one who's triggered. His team's probably triggered. Oh, uh, he was dead pretty quickly. Once that Ice Blast connected and then just Dragon Knight, like, you don't even need the Blink Dagger when you have situations like this, and Tiny can toss the Initiators in. Stone Gaze buys you so much time, though. Yeah. In this case, it didn't. <laughs> no old, no old <laughs> combination. It didn't exist. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay, but he has to take it next level. You're forced to now, CTY. What's your 14? Is he? He just <laughs> holds the value points. For what? Oh, Monet. Gonna get dusted up, stunned up with a Maledict as well. Quick paralyzing cast, having to wait. No death ward, however. Now, would have been able to secure the kill, because he would not have been able to reach that shrine in time, but five Ooh. seconds for cooldown on Puppy's death ward means that kill does not happen. Hood on Venomancer, realizing that, yeah, they got rolled last team fight. And what is Tide also goes for a hood, so. Well, Tide's gonna finish into the pipe. I think it's just a casual hood for the Venomancer. Ooh, this is nice. Blink Dagger already. Yeah, Fada's been farming a lot. And yeah, Veno has died, but I think it's 
he's been sacrificing a little bit of himself for Titan to farm, which I guess is okay. He has blink. He can do things now. Mm -hmm. And it's not just a blink dagger. I, I feel so torn with this game. Like, I agree with you, like, LFY. Oh, nice dump from Yapsaw. But, nah, there's no follow-up at CTY. Status, um, status resistance. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I'm, I'm still concerned from both sides of the fence. Like, Team Secret, they're playing for the long game. LFY now, money-wise, are going to have problems keeping up with the double hand of Mises unless they continue to take objectives. Great thing for LFY, they're going to be aggressive, but you're into Ravage, you're into Nova, you're into Stone Gaze now. Um, and Mystic Snake, and Paladin cast, and the issues that come in with the Nyx Assassin. That's, that's a lot of defense the Team Secret have that can punish LFY if they're caught out of position. Is he actually... <laughs> okay. I think, don't think that timing was exactly right for me, I'm still. But it's like, I don't feel like either team have, have like a huge advantage in this game. Both have so many things they can play mm, for. I would, still, uh, I would still say LFY. I mean, the, mm. so Gold Lee is only 2,000, it was just 3,000, and then Double Hand of Midas is, uh, add that up to, what, 5,000, 6,000 lead for LFY right now. Yep. They're significantly stronger, and I think they have a line that can kind of take advantage of this, of, uh, of the old timings of Secret. So even if they lose a fight, let's say 3 to 2, or 4 to 2 even, in favor of Secret, uh, mm -hmm. with the Ravage, I think they can just immediately go into the Rose Pit or something similar and be very comfortable with taking these fights. Well, Dragon Tail stun up on top. More support comes in the form of Inflame. TP himself in Varda. Gonna commit the Ravage. TP is available. He's looking for some time to blink out and he's able to do so. He goes east, not west, away from the Ice Blast. And he'll avoid both the ET Splitter and the Ice Blast. Meanwhile, Medusa but and Ace trying to work together to push him mid. And yeah, you are right. No Ravage, but no TDC. Yapsaw finds the opportunity. And now back up under the cover of the Plague Wars. Maybe not so perfect cover. Spirits down from Yapsaw just trying to stop the ET from getting the stop, but they just move in forward. Ace, so much damage. Copping trees, and they got the boy. You'll at least get the Nova off. The BKP is already on for Inflame. And with Super Blink daggering himself forward, he'll set himself up but holds Yapsaw in position so the rest of LFY can continue the attack, which comes in the form of the Spirit Stop. Stonegaze turned on, Monet stunned up underneath the tower, so is Dragon Knight, but TTY really uncertain if he wants to fight this, and rightly so, he doesn't have a lot of heroes to work with. Fighter can blink forward, he anchor smashes absolutely nothing. Issue of no vision. And even then, two of them are gonna get hit by the Ice Blast, just as, like, icing on that cake. So, looks like Medusa is going for the Lincolns and the Manta. There are a lot of things that he needs to get out of, <laughs> so... We're going full Mushi. Yeah, I think sometimes Mushi gets it when there's, like, not particularly great things to man title, but this game, I think, like, Crippling Fear, great. Uh, cold Feet, also great. Like, just getting out of those alone, I think, will be more increase in damage than getting a similarly priced damage item. Well, if they have are playing for the late game, then it does make sense. Try and survive for now. Don't give too many kills over. Yep. But what do you build after that? Like, do we turn him into, like, Electro Buzz? Like, do we just give him the Maelstrom? Not versus these BKBs. You can already tell that they're going to get a lot of BKBs, right? If if Elder Titan is getting BKB, you can... Well, Super always so, goes BKB, so, so that's Scotty. definitely too. So Scotty. Uh, could, Scotty or Butterfly, I would say. Yeah, because that's what I was wondering. Like, if you're going to go for the Scotty, don't you have enough sustain from the stats of Scotty without having to get Manta? Or is it literally just because you try and break free of all the silences? It's not the silence that, it, that bothers him. It's the mischance. The mischance is a much bigger deal. But they might need a Silver Edge, too, to actually kill this Tidehunter. I don't know if they'll pick one up, because the way the way it's looking that if they go on the Tide, then they just Stone Gaze, and then Tide will get his stuff off no matter, or even if he's broken, because they don't actually have good ways to burst him down. Maybe Tiny can, but with a Hood, I don't think it's going to be enough damage. Well, they're giving some money over to Fada. She was God. Item of choice for him. Gonna boost up that armor from the seven he's currently got. Make him a little bit more difficult to kill. Don't say Midas is still haven't paid themselves off yet, but it's getting pretty C close. CTY is on cooldown. Count the seconds, boys. Count the seconds. Give this man a creep. Anything. Efficiency time low. Yeah, he was an Asian. I think still think it's fine for him. It's getting there. He's getting there. Almost looks like Team Secret are backing. 
Like, I, I almost wanted to say they're backing up for a smoke, but that doesn't work. Because they don't want to fight yet. Tide Ravage is up, definitely. Yapsol? They, I mean, they they want to fight if mm. LFY come to them. They just want to be ready for it. Like, yeah. if they jump the Medusa and then Tide comes in with Ravage, they will get destroyed, especially if BKB isn't popped in time. Or maybe that's what they're thinking. A lot of Scribbles coming in from popping around Roshan to the north of it. I don't know who's coming for. Yapsol underneath the Dire Sentry Ward. He'll get his fight campus up, but really doesn't do enough. Not in time, so no Nyx Assassin for 44 seconds, no buyback available. So into the pit, LFY shall go. I still think Secret can take this fight with their big two team fight ultimates, but CTY is not even close to going over there. And he does have his TP up, but if he doesn't TP within the next five seconds, then that, that means they just don't want to contest it at all. And it's, yeah, it's CTY just... is still farming. Tide as well as Witch Doctor actually moving aggressively into the bottom lane. They're getting some aggressive wards down near the T1 tower. So CTY will TP now, but it's already done. It's already too late. So does LFY push up with this? Like, can they push up or is it just try and take the fight? I think you can still go for pickoffs because Secret are still trying to farm out a ton of the map. Despite, uh, I think that's the right choice. You you follow up as much as the map as you can. If a hero dies, you'll still make more than you were losing just because you're farming so much of the map. Mm -hmm. So I think you just, you know, farm up super aggressively with the Tidehunter in particular. Venomancer is, I always say, a little bit more squishy. And he's not going to be able to survive this, like, massive burst from Tiny. Well, Medusa's happy with the farm space. She just finished Manta style at 25 minutes in with that Lincoln Sphere. Next item of choice is looking to be Dragon Lance. The Elder Titan is still incredibly good at dealing with the Medusa, though. Like, the Stomp and the Earth Splitter, that's like five seconds where she's running around trying to dodge things and not right-clicking people. So, I would still say that despite her having these two defensive items to get out of these debuffs, she's still going to get kited into fights or disabled. Which will then put more pressure onto the rest of Team Secret to keep the control up. Yep. But LFY, they're enjoying their moment for now. They can't control up versus the BKBs, though. That's the thing. Like, none... Oh, goodbye, puppy. None of their heroes are good versus BKB except for the Medusa. Shadowblade initiation of Super CTY. What is he doing here? Uh, he's on the run. Morinade's got three in hand. They jump forward. Stonegate is out. Screen more time. Yapsaw's coming over too. Ice Blast CTY. He's going to walk into it, getting hit by it. So will Farda. Yapsaw, he's trying to take him for the team. He's got a couple of one charges, but it won't help when he's hit by the Ice Blast. Super's looking for more, but all he's finding is illusions of the Medusa. So both supports will die. The cores remain alive, but you burn your stone gates for the moment. And these ultimates are very, very important, I would say, for Secret. Like, I, I just don't think they can take a straight 5-on-5 five five without both of these up. With Aegis, even I think they're strong enough, uh, Secret Art, to take a fight against it. But with one of those ultis down, you just don't even bother. You just wait for it to come up. Oh, well, LFY? I mean, look, look, look at how smart. aggressively he is farming right now. He doesn't even have the Aegis. He's just like, I, uh, they're not going to do anything about it. <laughs> they're just going to be trying... They're just trying to outfarm us faster than we can kill them. Yep. Well, Fada's, Fada's doing it, man. Like, he's he's got enough money with this creep wave when he hits it. Yep. He's got his uh, full Shiva's gun if he can get to a secret shop to buy it. The Courier's back in base for the moment. And CTY, well, he's down here with Puppy. Support is nearby. LFY gonna break their smoke. CTY is still with those stone gates. They turn their attention to Afu. Hit by the gust. And, well, Ice Blast and Splitter. It's a good position right on top of Puppy. He is a non-factor in this fight, but has still got the Ravage of Oh my god! Coming in the side, the damage on the DDC is high, but Fada, the BKB is finally pumped by his flame. They can move closer towards the Titan. He doesn't want to burn Ravage while the BKB is up, and he doesn't have a choice but to die. Yep, so can at least kill off our food. Yep, by Carapus, more space created. Keeps dealing the mana. Ace will move back over. Supon, now his BKB, then changing this like leap from. He wants to keep running out this. The dust is up, so he's revealed under the cover of his own Shadow Blade. Hits the Kale as well as the Nova. Super will tick, and he deny pops the building. DDZ's watching him. He goes for it and just misses it. Here comes Chitani for the stun from Yamsaw. More space created, but will it be enough? When Ace is tossed up to the end with no mana, nothing to work with. They just can't do it. Deuce is put to sleep, but the fight continues. Puppy back to the world of the living. Paralyzing cask available, but they need the reveal. They don't know that Monet is walking under the cover of a shadow blade right back to his own tier one tower and probably to the shrine to regenerate. That is one clusterbuck of a fight from both sides. Where was Monet that fight? He was just not there for 
almost the entirety of that fight. He didn't get the memo. Dude, Inflame destroyed that Tidehunter. Oh my goodness. I thought Tidehunter was tanky, but that was ridiculous. Let's have, let's have a look at it again. So, the chase after Afu, Puppy deleted. I don't, I have no idea how much damage he has right here, but so, that is, so look, also, see that? He could four-shot him right there. Also notice the plate the mail, the plate mail's in his backpack, it wasn't actually on him, so he didn't have the bonus armor from the plate mail. Good I'm not point. I'm not certain if that was actually intentional from Fada, I'm assuming not, because he used the TP scroll to come out, and then he didn't have it in the fight. Good point. And now he's got the money to pick up the Shiva's guard anyway, so he'll switch that out for his soul ring. So he's, he's got that in, in his inventory now. But the pickup on Super, nice attempt. Did this actually work from DDC? It would have actually been a catastrophe fight he for Team Secret. He was so late to the fight, though. Like, this is, like, pretty close to the dire side of the map. Like, they have the T1 up. Meanwhile, Secret don't have the T1 or the T2, but they do have the Shrine. But I'm not exactly sure what Tiny was doing, but they desperately needed him for the damage output. It's the LFY Smart Gang coming in. They are looking for a target at the same time. And now they just waste the Aegis because they, did, they didn't get yep. any value out of the Aegis at all. Fada, he wants a target. There's your blink forward from Super. It's over on Yamsaw. He won't survive this. The stomp, it won't catch a secondary target. The Obs does get dewatered very quickly, so Secret lose their vision in this fight. Ice Blast, really good. What is it? Only hits on top of Fada, so he cannot blink for the moment. Their BKB charges are actually running a little bit low on LFY too. They are just spending them like crazy. You're seven seconds on the Dragon Knight. It's Black Friday tomorrow, guys. And that ET Hold your is money. On, eight, on eight seconds. Hey, remember, it's made in China. Gotta make sure it works, right? They are... How much is it on Elder Titan? Elder Titan has eight seconds. Okay, he hasn't been burning that much. Oh, Fada, he blinks into him. Oh, no way to get out of this one. And the BKB popped again. He's down in seven seconds on Elder Tide. I mean, look at it, Tide's items. Though. Tide looks like he should be tanky. Yes, Shiva's and Hood. Yep. And he just dies in a Ava toss combo. Well, he never has a chance to activate the Hood either. Well, I mean, still, he has a lot of passive magic resistance. Natural order is not that OP. Mm -hmm. 70 attack speed. The Elder, yeah, Elder Titan's level 20. Radiant oh my goodness. <laughs> not a bad day at the ET office. What a job office in that phone book. So ET counters tight apparently with uh, the BKB first. CTY, <laughs> he's just sitting in the spirit getting stomped up. But LFY, they continue to add the pressure into the tier two tower with no dragon form for 27 seconds. It looks like they will back up for the moment. Roshan still has, uh, he could potentially spawn up in a minute. This is the fight that they need to win. Secret, secret need this desperately. It's about that time where the Midas's have started kicking in. Medusa does have a butterfly at the moment, so she is out, outputting enough amounts of damage. Scotty, yeah, you definitely want these items versus mass BKB. Mm -hmm. Maelstrom is just a mistake, I would say. It's gonna be one of the rare times we get to see an Aghanim's Knight. Night Stalker. Vision, vision, vision. Yeah, it's maybe just to find the Nyx. I don't. Mm, yeah. I think. I, I think I'd actually personally prefer. Uh, I don't know what you get. Pipe Vlads, maybe. Might might be another consideration over the scepter because of Venomancer. I think you always want a pipe, and then mm -hmm. Vlads. I think for the armor to deal with the Medusa would actually be quite nice because they have the extra synergy with the uh, with the Death Ward and some physical coming out from Titan, especially if he gets level 25 with the 250 damage talent. Fresh BKB now on the Tiny. Also, level 22 on the Tiny, 32 minutes in. Not too shabby. He's already hunting for a tiger. He won't find him. Medusa's illusions are farming up the tiger jungle. I wonder what Monet's gonna get next after Daedalus. Like, he might feel like he needs MKB to deal with the Medusa, but he also could get Silver Edge so he can burst down the Tide and save himself an item slot. It seems the burst of the Tide is not really much, much of a problem, so you don't, may not have to get that. Yeah, but you're a six slotter right now, so do you want to yeah. sell your Shadow Blade for a bigger item like the Monkey King Bar, or do you want to convert your Shadow Blade into a Silver Edge, which is not mm -hmm. ideal, or do you want to get a Moon Shard? Yeah, just consume the Moon Shard might be the, uh, the easier way to do it early on. Or you could sell your SNY for MKB, let's say. Wow. Freaking Elder Titans going for Monkey King Bar. What on earth is happening? <laughs> Yapso's hunting him. 
He's down the bottom lane. CTY is going to rotate over if they can find this pickup. He's so huge. They're trying to get the spirit. Oh, Yapsil's going to miss the stun and the damage. Oh, boy. Okay, maybe he will actually go for lifesteal. You said he's going to have a hard time getting the damage in, but like, at this point, maybe no, he's got it anyway. This was not counting for the fact that he would get BKB first item so he can actually right click people. That's actually an amazing build. Bounty. That he's more effective than the Deucer is right now, and he's still an extra 5,000 net worth behind her. Oh, he's definitely done more damage than the Deucer. Mm. The CTY can start kiting him once you have the, the Scotty up and running on Medusa. Medusa does not kite people. I, I You're supposed to kite Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not the upside of running away from an ET with a PKV MKV. Like, it's a lot to fight. That's actually, that's insane how much damage he's gonna do <laughs> mm -hmm. with less net worth than Medusa. Well, they're going into Roshan. This isn't going to work, however, Team Secret, they're already there! The Avalanche will catch two! Don't for the Heat King Blood! Oh, it's nice up! Sealing it with the Ice Blast! Secret will lose absolutely the whole everything! Clear the barbecue, we're done, clean it up, Team Secret are getting wrecked. This is that uh, mean. That was not even a fight. I have never seen a Medusa look so fragile yep. and frail. You've got meant to be a tanky tide hunter. You're meant to have a Medusa that can stand her ground. This and is it, just... she even got a stone wow. gaze off, but it was it had no effect. I think they killed her before they even turned a stone. That was actually incredible. Look at that ET, ET most damage. 3,300 <laughs> almost. Well, he snapped that splitter though. Like the ice blast looked really cool at the end. Like it looked like the, it's a disaster at the moment. But at the end of the day, the disaster came before the blast. Wow, in flame. <laughs> wow, indeed. Because we were talking about how like good Tidehunter was in this patch, but he just, he just stomped all over that guy. It, it begs the question, Tidehunter first phase pick from Team Secret, they did it yesterday, they do it today. LFY seems like they've got a very decent answer to it. And their strength in the off lane. They can't even return damage, like there's a halberd on the Elder Titan. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can actually disarm multiple heroes. So let's what look at it again. Fight. So let's see how long they last. In Avalanche, the Breathe Fire, the Ice Blast is nice, the Splitter combo at the right time. That's two of their tanky he tankiest heroes just immediately dead at the start of the fight. Yeah, that's the thing, like when, you, when you're in these heroes, you don't ever expect to die that fast. Oh boy. This is not what Team Secret thought they were signing up for. BKB from Super, remember it is that low timer. They'll get the dust off, so Vision onto Super, but no damage, so he just blinks into the river and walks away. Nothing is coming up secret. They at least have the Titan to Ravage available. Oh man, Medusa getting BKB. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna get the chance to pop that off. That, that's when you know you're really in big trouble. When your Medusa has to buy BKB. I've seen it occasionally versus Anti-Mage, so you don't get all your, like, mana burned. Yeah. But, I mean, it's... But in this game... I, I, the combination that's gonna hit you at the start is that, is that blink into Dragon Tail stun where you knock him out of react. Uh, she has Lincolns though. And she has Lincolns, true. True. So they have to have something else. It, it's but the now, but it was, it was the Avalanche. You got the DK with the Orchid, so potentially he could actually trigger the Lincolns as well. The Avalanche started out the fight last time, so Lincoln yeah. didn't do anything versus that. And it's not gonna help that much versus Earth Splitter. It still has a heavy, heavy physical damage component. Okay, Team Secret are coming out for the fight, but they're about to lose that tier four towers. It's like three or four creep waves pushing into their base through the bot lane. Yes, if they don't come back, then they lose tier fours. But Super trying to stop it, blinked himself forward, making the fight look well appetizing for Team Secret. They have a scepter on Night Stalker though, so if they do not get the jump on LFI, I'd be very surprised. These catapults are ripping apart the base. Super's looking for another initiation. Blink forward, not in range of Puppy, just shot. Thanks to the Agnes of the Revile Fu, Secret lose their vision even more. And Puppy wants to run out. Yapsor comes in for the Yule Scepter, wasting the time of the DK. Uh, at least they waste DK ultimate. That's a small benefit, especially with the BKB on the Dusa, you. You know, that's the only thing that's really going to slow you down heavily if you don't just die to E.T. So, E.T. barely hit any heroes, but he gets... Oh, Ace. If he hits two heroes, he gets plus 180 damage. Did they ping that? Did they see that? Uh, Team Seeker has smoked up and Ace was in range of the creep I mean, It's wave very and he, obvious. And he, and he blinked backwards. They, as long as they have Afu out in the front, all's good.
Oh, they're going to try and contest Roshan. He's very low. Afu gets the vision for him, and here comes LFY. They want the fight. They don't want Roshan. They break through the Lincoln, but Orchid actually rocks. Well, he's actually taken off by the BKB. Super quickly, don't BKB up. Bada, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, god damn the sleep. He can't grab it. Stone Gate from CT Y right now. He's only stoning the creeps. It's, okay, it's time for all of time to clean up. He has BKB, he has Earth Splitter. This is time. <laughs> I want to see him roll them. <laughs> I want to see the Daedalus done on him. That's the next item with Crystalus. Oh boy, he's going to hit like a truck. CG1, he's trying this. They're trying to do Roshan. So here's your first. Spirit into the pit. Start with a stomp. Locking CG1 in position. DDC's thinking about it. He'll break the Lincoln Spear with the Cold Beat. Fight it down for now. BKB up on the ET with the Ice Blast flying forward. And dude, he needs to die in the Ice Blast. DK and Puppy getting space. Get the dead one up until Monet. We'll toss him into the air. Three heroes gone. A bad before. Bart will get the TP out, but that was kind of the last little play. Yabzor's trying to run out. The dead reward is still down. Oh. You're gonna hit by the tree. It's over. It really is. You've lost so many heroes. You're gonna lose Roshan. Top weight will follow shortly after. Put the clock on it. In the next three minutes, this game will be done. I want to see the stateless overtime now. I'm ready for the next phase. <laughs> oh, a on disc for the tie hunter. What can help me? Protect me, disc. <laughs> <laughs> this is just LFY rolling with the punches. The dateless on Tani to hit like a truck. And there's your jump forward. The stun quickly actually going in. Oh no. No one he wanted to have happily to Shiva's gun. And the Aeon just saves him this time around. No ravage of bubbles. The APT split. <laughs> oh boy. Plus 193 damage on that ET. Combining it with the crit. They'll back up for the moment. Retreating a super is low. He actually doesn't have the Aegis more. They put that on the Elder Titan. So super properly dies. Yapsaw gets the money for that one. They burn the Aegis Immortal. Afu is currently ticking down. He's low thanks to the Nova, but it won't send him critical. They lock ET into the trees at a quick Yaw Scepter. They cancel off the stomp at least. The kills are coming in. The streaks are being ended. Of course you were about 22 23,000 net worth behind, but it's something for Team Secret. They need a lot more of those, a few more of those, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a few more, just a couple. So, some interesting things in this game. Yeah, Medusa has not which, changed. Which one do you want to go for? Medusa or CTY has not changed his ways, he's just not. not Here we a, go. Great blink dodge, at least. The Aeon just definitely caught them off guard. They're like, what is happening? Why is he not dying? And then at this point, they know they're in a little bit of trouble because they have to spend that extra two and a half seconds killing him. And this is one of the first fights that we see C2Y actually being able to do a lot of damage. He does a ton of damage. Well, for the first time, the Titan didn't just evaporate. And everyone got hit well by that blink daggering Nova of Ace. Mm -hmm. Like, LFY just had to back up. Of course, Ace didn't find the kills because he didn't have enough poison sting attacks also on the LFY players. So, there were heroes escaping on one HP just because of this. What were the other interesting things that were on your mind in this game? Elder Titan being encountered at the Tide. It's crazy. It's not really explored much by other, t other teams. And yeah, mostly CCY just still being crazy. Mm -hmm. Cra crazy in a good way. Crazy in a fun way. Oh, these, that Observer one next to the Ancient Stack, it still sees way too much. It scattered Team Secret moving closer towards Roshan. So LFY just back up for a little bit longer. The uh, Venomancer still doesn't have his... his uh, actually, what do you do with the Venomancer too? Like, I know you're on the defense and the 3-3 Plague Wars are really good, but Nova appears to be also a critical thing he's going to hit in the fight. So do you get... Pro you still get Plague Ward. You still you're, get it? You're likely going to get mega in the next, like, five minutes. So and I think... he needs to defend. Yeah. I think the... It's Elder, only, it's only because he's building the Aghanim Scepter as well. The Elder Titan might actually be very good versus the Deuce too, because he builds oh, so much agility. Plague Ward's down. The Avalanche blind up the hill. Ace able to get forced off the way, but in comes Super. They want their Venomancer down before he can get the ult. The ult will make sure of it. Stunkate is decent from a Deuce with the ET Splinter combining with the Ravage. 
and push into game two with the one game advantage, super backing over. Radiant's but the tier four towers, towers exposed with the creep waves coming in. Three heroes down, no CTY, no Ravage. Yeah. It looks hopeless for Secret. Great BKB timings by LFY right there to dodge Ravage. They actually played around the AI on this quite well, uh, that fight. And the Elder Titan, yeah, might actually be a decent counter on Medusa too, because you have to build all stat items on Medusa, mm -hmm. and you just take away all her armor, because she almost never builds uh, natural armor items, aside from maybe Blade Mail, and this game, Medusa is going for AC, one of the most common core pickups versus an Elder Titan. Mm -hmm. well, we're getting to watch this replay again. Uh, we get an opportunity to do this, because LFY, uh, she took so much damage during this fight, they backed up to Shrine and heal. Yeah, poor Venom just dies almost at the start of the fight. He tried. He was in a good position to at least break the smoke, but... Just too hard. Too many four stuffs, too many items. So much sustain on LFY. Puppy was channeling for so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor Medusa. Just too many things to deal with, too. Like this. <laughs> the crippling fear talent on Night Soccer is also amazing. If he managed to get to level 25, the minus eight second crippling fear, like... Lincoln Sphere, just forget about it. Well, we come back live. Tide Ravage off cooldown in 35 seconds. DK just completed his entire Blood Fawn. Another four staff up as well for the Night Stalker. Ooh, guaranteed crit hey. for Elder Titan. He's, he's not getting the Daedalus. Nola Fire? Yeah. I, well, I had this question earlier whether or not Nola Fire works on. Uh, Aeon Disc. I assume that it does. I don't see why it wouldn't, but I don't know. Maybe it's one of those weird items. Also, do, how, how does the status resistance work on Aeon Disc when you get nullified? Does it, does it work or not work? I have no idea. Does, does null null everything? I mean, does it null before or after? It, uh, <laughs> We'll, we'll put it to the brain's trust of everyone that uh, is currently listening to the stream as well as the maybe the panel. So send us your answers. You know how to find us on all the social medias. We'd love to know the answer. Ice Blast off oh, CTY. No, no. Oh, he just came out for a bit of a bit of fresh air with BKB and TB harm. Now down to seven seconds on that BKB. Seven seconds without him. Witch Doctor picked off. Puppy was coming to the aid of his teammate as well as the D ward. But now he'll lose his sentry. The nullifier is done for the Elder Titan, and a blade mail is done up for Medusa. She just wants to survive and hopefully gets LFY to kill themselves on her. That's the only hope she kind of has. The LFY pushing the mid lane quite nicely. Super oh. attacking into the tier 4 towers. This will force Team Seeker just to split their defense up a little bit more. They burn the fortification. The Aeon Disc was fucked. This is really bad. Oh, the jump in. Venno Horsey is nice. It catches three heroes. Do they have a follow up, however? You'll still lose the tie on the easy split on this one to Medusa. Stay with the ice spot. They hold her in position. The Blade Mail is up and Super doesn't care. His regeneration, his life in general, is just far beyond the reaches of Secret. And good. Game well played. LFY take game one against Team Secret. I have to give the MVP to M in Flames this game. Just dominating on the Elder Titan. The, the pick of the ET and then the play of the ET. Yeah, both. Both definitely. Oh, terrific performance for them. Okay, I want to see damage then. Hold on. <laughs> is, this, is that what you're trying to load up? He did 20,000. Super did 21. Monet did 35. Pretty impressive. Not too bad. Not, Not too, too shabby. Bad. Natural order was also very, very strong in the mm -hmm. game. The funny thing is, though, like, you were still getting the damage out of Team Secret, but, like, they were playing for the late game. They were playing for 